Hey guys, welcome back once again. Well, I've got a new product here that I've had for a couple of days. Uh, I just thought I'll do a quick overview on it because at the moment I can't fly it. So uh, the weather's pretty pretty bad here at the moment in the middle of the winter and uh, nothing but storms and rain. So I don't usually just do an overview unboxings on my reviews uh, for these companies, but uh, today I'll make an exception because this is one of the latest products and the only mavic air clone out there at the moment so just thought i'll show you a quick sneak peek of this one and a quick overview of it so uh this is an x12 it goes by uh the name cool rc this is provided by rc moment for the review but it also i notice it's got the actual manufacturer named dong ming tao rc and uh What's a little bit rather confusing is that in the instruction manual, it actually says Wi-Fi Scout. So it goes for a couple of different names by the look of it. But anyway, besides that, uh, this is a new Mavic Air toy style clone. Uh, as you can see, it looks remarkably similar to the DJI product. And it uh, looks like they've done a pretty good job of it too. Um, this is a traditional, you know... Uh, 720p uh, 2 megapixel Wi-Fi camera. It's got altitude hold, Wi-Fi FPV, headless and one key return and it runs on the 2.4 frequency. So there's three different models, uh, 720p, 1080p and 640. The only listings I've seen are for the 720p uh, 2 megapixel model. And as you can see, it comes in a variety of colors. All right, so that's pretty much the box. Very simple. Comes in a really small box. So let's have a quick look inside and see the contents of what we get. So first off the go is four uh, prop guards. Okay. You also have the USB charger with a little uh, little jack there. Okay, you can uh, plug that into your computer or an adapter into your power socket. You've got the uh, four, a full set of props here, all four, just there. Okay, full set. And you've got a little screwdriver and some little landing feet that go on the bottom of the drone. They're just four little like pegs extenders and they just clip on the bottom of the actual aircraft okay all right let's have a quick look of the actual drone itself here it is here guys as you can see it's all compact very small i mean it fits in the size of your palm so it's much smaller than the real deal okay very very lightweight it's hardly any weight to it at all guys you've got some leds on the front it's got a wide angle 720p lens on it okay which is tiltable to 90 degree angle okay you can have it up like that or down all right on the bottom here is the what i'll do first actually you just uh front arms swing out forwards but on these rear ones, they go down and click upwards, okay? Just like so. I've been told it's pretty much like the real Mavic Air, the way they uh, fold out, okay? So on the bottom here, this is what I was going to show you before. you got a little Wi-Fi antenna for the Wi-Fi camera. And there is an SD card slot just in there. But I'm pretty sure this version, I could be wrong. I'll test it in the flight review part two video of this uh, particular quad. Doesn't look like there's no locking mechanism in there, guys. So that might be just a fake uh, slot. Okay, so I'll test that out. I'm not going to say it does take a SD card because I could be totally wrong. You probably lose it, you know, in, inside there. So I'll be safe to say that this is a just a Wi-Fi app uh recording for filming and uh taking photos okay so there it is there or unfolded nice looking 
quadcopter. They've done a very good job at attention to detail to make this look like the real deal. Okay, LED on the back there. Now, I'd just like to mention something to you guys. This battery is a 3.7 volt, 1000 milliamp hour. They're claiming it will give you around 12 minutes of runtime. And there's a charging port there. The reason I took this battery out first, because this was actually in the quad, is because this is so tight, such a tight fit in this quad, that I had troubles getting it out. Now, what I found is that it is rubbing on the inside of this battery bay, okay? And uh, the way it's designed, you probably can tell here, that's not one of those pool style uh, batteries where you can grip it from the top. See, the, the actual aircraft is, uh, is molded in. So uh, once it's in like that, there's no click noise or nothing. It's very hard. You've got a little arrow here to push down and then pull out, but it's very hard. Okay, I can't, I'm not successful in doing it, as you can see. And if you try to get your nail in there, you probably snap your nail or something. But anyway, what I had to do is get a little hobby screwdriver, set a little slot there. I had to push it down and then flick it out. And that's the only way I could get this battery out. So that's a little bit of a, I think it's a bit of a downside. I don't really like that design of the way it can go in and out. So see, as you can see, I'm really trying and my, my thumb's just slipping over the top of that. Okay, I just thought I'd let you know about that. I wish they designed it where you could grip it from the top and take it out that way. But anyway, that's the way they designed it. Uh, power button on the top. Just a quick press, and there you go. You've got some very bright white LEDs on the front that look rather nice because uh, they'll be pretty visible during the day, I'm imagining. And uh, a red one on the back. All right. Okay, so quick press. You don't even have to hold it down, and uh, it turns it on or off. Okay, onto the controller now. Uh, as you can see, this is very similar to a lot of these Wi-Fi uh toy quads out there they go on for like a dji spark i believe controller look uh another dji spark clone that i reviewed not long ago had the same controller layout the um spark version so this is actually identical to that controller you've got your trimmers on each side for the left and right you've got automatic takeoff automatic land Oh, sorry, you got your trimmers for the front and back, and you got automatic takeoff and automatic land, plus the uh, power button. These light up in red, and uh, these are fake antennas. Okay, guys? And you've got some buttons here too, so you have your speed rates, flips, uh, emergency stop, and the camera uh, to take pictures, and a long press to take video. Okay, guys? This will take three batteries, three double A's, I, I think, yeah. I think the other quad that I reviewed had the same sort of layout. And on the bottom here you have your, it's rather st stuck. Okay, here we go. On the bottom here you have your spring-loaded phone mount, which will fit a rather large phone like the one that I have. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Now all that's left, is this uh, leaflet for the um, Wi-Fi app. It's an app that I've used before. It's, it's called the HT UFO app. It's for iPhone and also for Android. Okay. So there you go there. It shows you a bit of a layout of all the keys. Okay. Won't go right into it. And on the back is Chinese. And as I was mentioned before, it says a drone Wi-Fi scout. So there's no mention of X12 on here. So little booklet, very, very small writing, but um, it looks like it's in pretty good English. Three batteries, like I just mentioned. And it just basically goes through the normal, uh, you know, the normal uh, layout of most uh, instruction manuals, how to change all the... Uh, props put you you know charge it up and so forth and there's a parts list on the bottom here so there you go and it goes into different languages okay nice little booklet 
all the info you need in there. Okay, guys, well, that was just a quick look, guys. Um, because I can't fly, I don't usually do this sort of thing, just unboxings only and overviews only. I usually follow up a video like this with a flight review. But like I said, I've had this thing, uh, this quadcopter hanging around the house for a, a good part of half a week now. And uh, because I can't fly at the moment, it's howling wind and rain right now as I'm speaking. Um, hopefully I can get it out on the weekend and give it a good test flight and they'll be coming up in a part two flight review. Okay, guys, so I just thought I'll do a little uh, introduction of this brand new Mavic Air style toy quadcopter, the X12 by Cool RC. Links will be in the description, guys, for RC moment if you want to check it out. I believe it is priced at around... 65 us dollars at the moment so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this quick overview of the cool rc x12 mavic air clone wi-fi quadcopter till then catch us on the next one and uh enjoy the hobby guys happy flying bye for now